Hey there, everybody. This is Admiral Newkirk here. Guest casting with me is... Uh, Anacreon. The Bronze Wonder. Yes. So we're going to be casting your Game 5 between Kids Jiba and Jay Seinfeld. Good to see Jerry branching out his interests before he was just producing television shows and being worth $100 million. Uh, so this is uh, this was Game 5, and uh, again, the interesting split there by Kids Jiba. Um, in the meantime, Jay Seinfeld is opening regular, and we're just gonna we're gonna fast forward until something interesting happens. What map is it? Uh, he says, and this gives us opportunity to talk about the map. Ah, uh, yes, it's a three-way map. I guess. Yeah, it's the only map designed for three-player free-for-alls. Interesting. And if you look at it, there's one base, two base, three base. The way you actually get from your uh, to your opponent from over here is like go oh dooby 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 dooby. Oh, so it's really long rush distance, even though they're comparatively pretty short, and. Um, uh, the interesting part also is that if you look at it, you have your natural here, your third there, your fourth over here, and then your expansions just kind of stop. Uh -huh. Everyone gets easy four bases and then no more. You're not allowed anymore. Because if you expand over here, you're stretched really far and you can't spread creep. If you expand over here, that's towards your opponent. So really, uh, on one or two, you get four bases, no more. No more, you can't have any more expansions. Unless you steal them. Unless you steal them, which is fun. Uh, so let's look at what the Terran is doing. The Terran is walling off. An interesting decision with a supply depot. This would be a fun map to like do a proxy hatch and then sp expand behind you. Oh, that'd be so cool. So like do a proxy hatch there and then go there. Yeah, yeah, and then expand in all of their bases. That basically. would be clever. <laughs> Tom likes to proxy hatch. <laughs> Uh, Kids Jiba being proactive with his overlord as well as throwing down his uh, his hatch relatively early. Uh, let's slow it down now that things are getting interesting. And I don't like supply depot wall offs because they're way too vulnerable to bailing busts. I mean, it's so simple just to bailing bust. Put your supply depots over here, wall off with buildings. It's annoying, and your add ons can kind of tweak out. So that's why you need to lift up your buildings and put them down back here uh, after you're done. So. But walling off, if you want to wall off, wall off with bigger buildings, because then you can't get Ling Rush and Baneling and Baneling busted. That's happened to me so many times online. So, Tom, let's just, let's look at this from the Zerg cam, and tell me what you, as a bronze player but who likes to theorycraft, what would you be seeing? Uh, well, there's obviously a wall off there. I'm expanding already. Yeah, this seems about where I would be, except it's somehow not as good because I'm in bronze. Well, what would you think if you saw this wall off? What, what, what would pop into your head? Um... How about this? We'll, we'll, we'll take in the Link... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take in the Link Scouts and we're going to see what you see after the scouting. Okay. Good. Feels good. Uh, I see marines. You see marines, you see a reactor, and you see a lifted a lifted yes. uh, factory. So I'm thinking some heavy marine play? No, heavy hellion play. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are the weakest <laughs> link. <laughs> Only <laughs> her, 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 her. <laughs> uh, Double queen there from Kids Jiva. Good choice. However, it'd be nice to see this queen move down. Uh, he's immediately reacting to the side of the hellions and putting down a spine crawler. Now, as a Terran player, I'm going to talk to you now a little bit about hellions. Son, you're going older now, and soon you're going to find yourself interested in hellions. That's perfectly natural. It's okay. However, if you are going to use hellions, make sure you use blue flame. Uh... <laughs> it's the only way that's safe. And it's the only way under my roof that you're going to be allowed to use Hellions. Don't open double Hellion. I did for like three or four months thinking, oh yeah, it's fun. I'm just not executing right. No, it's not. It's silly. Look at the blue frame flame upgrade. I wish I saw it. Damn it, you don't know that. You technically. Back to me. Now back at your blue flame. Now back to me. Great wall off here by Kids Jiba. I like this a lot. Stop pinging, you damn idiot. Um, no. If you're gonna use Hellions, blue flame uh, increases their damage versus light to 24. That is more than an extra Hellion. All right. So, so not. Only, I mean, look at that. That doesn't one shot Zerglings. Well, four Hellions will like completely one shot Zerglings. Now, a uh, slight run by here could be done. I love this Sim City here by the Zerg. This is something you don't normally see uh, non pros do. But, ugh, good run by. However, the Roaches are just gonna wrap it up. Uh, he shouldn't have attacked, moved there. He should have just moved. And then the Queens. Very nice setup here by Kids Jiba. Just a super strong preparedness for the Roaches, as well as getting enough Queens to handle it. And now he has extra Queens, which he can use to gain more map control. Uh, no, Sun, if you're gonna open Hellions, open Blue Flame. Because there's. It's just not gonna work. It's the only I'm, safe way. It's the only safe way. <laughs> I understand it. <laughs> Believe me, I try. Double Hellion doesn't do you any good. What you want is on your second factory to get your, um, to get your, uh, for, as in Mech and Terran versus Zerg, this should have a reactor at this point. This should have a tech lab and have made Blue Flame and now be researching, 
uh, siege as well as siege tanks, then this, this should only be making one, this should be an armory. This you put down a reactor, because you already have blue flame, and you can therefore pump out more hellions. This you pump out your marines, this is your armory, then after your third base is established, you've taken both your gases, you put your third factory down here, you have it produce thors, you have this one produce tanks, you have this one produce uh, marines, then you put down your next your next base, and then you use that to get two more barracks. So your prognosis is that Jay Seinfeld should have stuck to comedy, or...? Yeah, my prognosis he, he is this is... He should have stuck to being about nothing. So yeah, this this is terrible right. play. I mean, going straight reactor to Hellions is really super bad. Do we know, do we know what rank uh, Seinfeld is? No, we know. We do know that Kids Jiba is 44 and, uh... Okay, yeah, I do this all the time. I have my command center as 4, and then I'm like... I chat and I hit 4-4 to go over and check it out. And actually, Kids Jiba is doing the smart thing here, which your opponent opened Reactor Hellion and you don't scout any tech labs. Go and kill him. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we see more Hellions, and this should be making Blue Flame right now. Click it, click it, you idiot. Urgh, you're an insult to Terran. This, if he's mecking, both these should be uh, both these should be taken. This will die immediately to Roaches, which is why you need a tank, as well as... Um, the nice thing about Hellions is it, force roaches. it forces Roaches, which is which is way easier to deal with than living with. Okay, so uh, right now Dan is just kind of like completely mauling the guy. Forcing Roach uh, is easier... Roach Hydra uh, into Infester is easier to deal with than living with Luda because it doesn't give away map control, and so therefore oh, that's one of the advantages of opening Hellion is it forces Roach. And... Uh, which means you can also throw down two barracks with tech labs to produce marauders. Marauders, dude. Which will then uh, help counteract the roaches. So now we just get to see... <laughs> siege tank kiting. <laughs> siege, siege tank kiting. Uh, he also, he had a mule there that was... And in this, in this situation, he should be producing one more tank, as well as producing just anything he can. Uh, he's trying to get out of Banshee. Good for him. In the meantime, back at Kid's Jeep's base, he's just choosing to... Uh, good, make seven drones. Okay. As well as... Um, as well as roach speed, but he should be throwing down an expansion here, an expansion there, because... We're like a spire or something, because, you know, you know what Desperate Terran is like here. Yeah. Oh, fly. fly yeah. Well done. Pun, that was wonderful. So, Tom, in this situation, as the Zerg, you, you see all of this. Uh, you're killing him. It certainly feels like I've won at this point. Yes, but but what is your what is your immediate thought? Like, what do you do to transition? And there we see the Zergs using melee, or the, the Zergs, the Roaches. What probably, is your trend? Probably say I have time for Buddha. Uh, is that the wrong answer again? Or? No, that, that's fine. Okay. That, that's a fine transition, and it would catch him off guard, because he's going to produce mostly tanks, and he might even produce a Banshee, and maybe even some uh, some Marauders. The Mutas would just... Marauders, <laughs> Mutas hard counter, all that. That's why I don't open Halloween Banshee, because Mutas, they just tech to Mutas and win well. Now we see Kids Jiba producing more roaches and going in an attack. Let's look at the units, shall we? Only 35 drones. I don't know if I like this. He doesn't need to kill him immediately. He's already crippled him. Let's go back to everyone cam. This guy not producing tanks, because he's silly. But he is producing a banshee. Good for him. And now all these roaches are going to go and kill everything. He's also not making moves. He's an idiot. Oh, and now the fun starts. <laughs> Oh, let's lift all our buildings. <laughs> there aren't like 50 observers telling us to leave. Oh, let's siege the tank! Quick! Let's siege it! Siege it! Unsiege it! Unsiege it! <laughs> siege! Siege! No, no! Don't siege! <laughs> uh, he's lifting all of his stuff. Except for the barracks, apparently. Do you know that actually, if your opponent just has one tech lab left and you're, you're also Terran, you can land on that tech lab and it becomes yours? You can steal people's tech labs. <laughs> And uh, oh look, look! The, the, the Zerglings did their dance. Oh, he Dan just taunted. Oh, that's so funny. That's it's like dropping so BM mules. But in the meantime, the pro the Jay Seinfeld is making a great play here, putting down an expansion. I like this. Okay. In the meantime, he also has his command center up over here, just kind of like hanging out. And oh look, the double proxy hatch. I love this play. <laughs> I mean, this is just. I mean, there is nothing that can put more pressure on the Terran <laughs> right now. Than a double proxy edge. Oh, of course. <laughs> Wait, can we see production? I want to see if. Uh, He's making a command center. He's yes, also the spire is going up. Oh, oh yeah. Dude. Yeah, because otherwise the game would just last forever. Yes. I've actually would. successfully gotten a stalemate. It, or, or, no, actually, what happened was it was pre stalemate, and essentially I killed the Protoss's. I killed the Protoss's. The Protoss had no money left. He also didn't have a Nexus. Um, but he had an army. Uh. I just had a command center, and so I floated it to the corner. 
So the thing is, he couldn't attack me because he didn't have anything that could fly and he didn't have means of production. Um, he's moving some roaches over here to kill him. Uh, and so because of that, we just waited each other out and he had to turn his computer off before I did. Uh, at any rate, the double proxy hatch here, good. And a great way to also, while putting pressure on, continue to improve economically. Uh, also, good play by the Terran here, bunching all of his buildings together so it will be easier to find. Nothing says polite and good game matters like boxing your units together so they're easier to kill. Um, also, great play to try to get out Banshees.